This is a plant translator that I designed because I am absolutely horrible at taking care of my plants. So I love plants. I freaking love them. You can fill up any boring room with plants and it immediately becomes a more vibrant, interesting place to be. The problem is after a few weeks of my care, I want my plants to look like this and they end up looking like this. So instead of learning how to take care of plants like a normal person, let's build a plant translator so our plants can tell us exactly what they need. But first we're gonna need a few components. So for this project, we're just going to measure light intensity and moisture content of the plant's soil so that they can tell us if they need more light or more water. Then I found these awesome tiny little microcontrollers that also have Wi-Fi capability to take all these sensor inputs, along with a few other miscellaneous components to complete our plant translator. Then I designed and 3D printed the translator shell to bring all the components together. I then had to solder all these components together to ensure we could turn the system on and off whenever we wanted to, as well as wiring this to this little microcontroller that also has a built-in battery charger on board. Once the sensors were wired up, we could test the power switch to make sure everything was powering on appropriately. Then we can move on to actually assembling all the components in this tiny little shell. First, we can put in the battery, then slide the moisture sensor through the bottom slot there and then screw it into place so it doesn't move anywhere. We can then hot glue the LED onto the top so that when we slide over the cover, it'll shine through a tidy pinhole to show whether or not the system is on. The last step of assembly is then to hot glue the light intensity sensor into place. And all in all, I really like this minimalist aesthetic. It really doesn't stand out too much when you put it in the pot of the plant. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do now that we have our plant translator assembled is make sure that it's just offboarding data correctly from the sensors. And to verify that all the sensors are putting out data properly, we can actually just connect it to our computer and watch the data come in from the sensors through the microcontroller. So now that we verify that all the sensor information is coming off of the microcontroller properly, we can think about beaming this information over Wi-Fi to a backend database. And I was brand new to connecting little devices like this to the internet. So after hours of back and forth with ChatGPT, I finally got a backend database set up that would receive input from our translator and show that data in our backend. And that is the next crucial step to actually having our plants communicate with us. And now we can take the final step of taking that information beam from our microcontroller to our backend database and integrate it with a messaging service so that we can be notified whenever our plants need something. So I had this thought as I was building out this messaging service to go from our back end to our devices. What if instead of just giving us straight information, which would be helpful saying, I need water, I need sunlight, that's cool. But what if we actually gave our plants a personality? So what we can do is actually design a persona for each of our plants so that we know when we get a text from a certain number or get a notification that the specific voice is from a specific plant in our house or in my workshop. So to accomplish this, that's where we're going to need to integrate ChatGPT. So what we're going to do is give ChatGPT the information that we have in our database and then tell it the persona of the plant and the specific needs of that plant and then use that to translate that into unique messages that our plant can send us every time it needs something. So as our first example here, let's take Monsty, our Monstera, as an example. Ugh. Okay, so I just imagine this little Monstera having a sassy but playful personality. So let's see if we can actually integrate that in our backend system and give Monsty a sassy and playful personality to tell us whenever it needs something. So to get started using this plant translator, you simply have to stick it in the plant soil and then turn it on. However, the first time I did this, I got a ton of duplicate messages. A few more hours of coding later and I was able to at least get rid of all the duplicates, but I was still receiving too many messages on my devices. Getting to this step though was actually super gratifying. You can see how each plant has its own unique voice and when I tap on the notification, it'll bring me to the dashboard where I can view all of my plants in one place. What's cool about this invention as well is that it actually doesn't matter if I'm near my computer or not because I get notifications on my personal device as well as my personal computer. So now that this was working, I could put sensors in each of my plants at home. Then with minimal additional adjustments, I could get all of these plants added to my dashboard. Then in our backend database, we could assign specific profiles to each plant along with giving them their own unique voice. Each of these profiles contains information like how much light they need and how much water they need. 
We can then trigger notifications to any one of our devices if a plant exceeds those thresholds that we set in their profile. Then by sending all that data through ChatGPT, we can tailor each notification to the specific persona or personality that we give to each of our plants, really bringing them to life. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing because these videos take a ton of effort, but it's so worth it to see how much people get a kick out of these projects. And also take this as a reminder to find problems in your own life to come up with creative solutions for. So until the next build, I'll see ya.